Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I have just learned uh, that there is a ham radio station on the uh, International Space Station, and some of the astronauts who travel on the International Space Station are radio hams and operate the ham radio from time to time on the two meter band, two meter FM, usually around 145.8 megahertz. You can get more information uh, about this organization, Amateur Radio on the International Space Station, or A-R-I-S-S, -S, Alpha, India. No, that's not right. Alpha, Romeo, India, Sierra, Sierra. I, I think that's right. A-R-I-S-S, -S, -S, Amateur Radio on the International Space Station. Just in all caps, type all capital letters, ARIS, A-R-I-S-S, in the Google search engine. You can put it in any box you want and it'll send you right to their website. And there's also some very interesting videos on YouTube that they have done. Uh, well, there's at least one video taken from inside the space station and a number of others taken by radio hams who contacted the International Space Station on ham radio on the two meter band. They always seem to be, well, they, they do a variety of modes. So I can't, I don't know very much about it other than, those, than these two ways of getting at it and one of which I haven't told you yet. Go to the YouTube main search box. And in that box, type the phrase ham radio on the International Space Station. You can type it in all lowercase. You don't need any quotes, although uh, when I put it in the description of this video, I will put quotes around it. I haven't tried that to see whether it works or not with quotes around it on YouTube, but not the Google search box, but YouTube search box. Just the general search, not any particular channel, just the general search. Ham radio on the International Space Station. And you'll get a wonderful smorgasbord of fascinating videos, which can easily consume quite a lot of your time. As I found out last night, the night of January 11th, to 12th, 2020, as I lay with my usual wide-eyed insomnia until almost three o'clock in the morning, spending half of my time listening uh, to the Birds, B-Y-R-D-S, the group famous in the 1960s particularly, and the other half of my time I spent watching these videos relating to the International Space Station. And don't forget to Google, you can do it in any box, all capital letters, Alpha, Romeo, India, Sierra, Sierra. I think I got that right. Aris, all caps, no quotes, any box you want, I think it'll get you there. And they've got a whole bunch of information about upcoming events and educational events and I had no idea until last night that somebody clued me in on that and another colleague uh, offered his input in the comment section as to, well he, well, he knows a lot about, he used to be called Ham and Shortwave Radio on YouTube. Uh, I think now he operates from another service, I'm not sure what, but uh, anyway, uh, I just thought this was, I, I, it doesn't matter. I'm not a wise old timer. I'm just a stupid old 
you know what fart is that word legal on youtube are they going to can me because i used the word fart on youtube uh well i passed gas uh, an old man who passes gas and wears weird hats but at least he doesn't wear ladies hats anymore i threw that one out <laughs> long story short ending <laughs> Ham radio on the International Space Station. Who'd have thunk it? Someday there'll be ham radio on the moon, Mars, and beyond. And if subspace communications is ever actually done, it'll be a radio ham who invents it. Subspace meaning faster than light travels through multiple dimensions and it bypasses all of the relativistic limitations and I think I've yammered just about enough. Stan Jabalisco, W1GV, saying 73 and so long, which, regardless of communications mode, location, antenna, or type, always translates into so long did i say that right so long always translates in my native fist to da 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 da, da.